Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside the Him. Guess what? We have some new patterns to review. I got wind that Simplicity released some new patterns via their social media, so I thought we would review them together. Let's see, as always, I'm skipping over costumes and kids stuff and the mommy and me and sister and me, <laughs> cute stuff, but not for me. Okay, so let's start with, like I said, yeah, that's a vintage pattern. So let's start with this guy here, the Simplicity skirt pattern. I have really, I don't know, I guess I'm cautiously optimistic about any collection, any pattern collection from this year because they've all been really hit or miss so far. Am I right? Okay, so we've got an up for anything pattern, which I guess that kind of means like athleisure. So we've got a skirt with different lengths and different hems. Let's look at the drawings. This one's really cute. Yeah, I mean, pretty basic. You have a midi length, a hmm, maybe knee length, this curved hem one, which is also very trendy right now. And then this knee length one with the curved hem. They have the side seam pockets, which is what these little things are, but um, it doesn't show like what kind of pocket it is. If it's sewn into the waistband or not, those are the ones I prefer, but it's always easy to swap that out. That's no big deal. And then this one has some princess seaming where you could add like a racing stripe or use some kind of trim detail there if you wanted. Then they all have elasticized waistbands with drawstrings. And we have lots of pictures to look at, which is great. So see how they did piping in here? I don't know about these, this color combo. It's very, I don't know, 50s to me. Um, then you've got this one with a biased hem, bias trim hem. <laughs> also, it looks really narrow, right? It looked a little bit more A-line in the drawing. Let's see, you've got this one here with the panel on the side. But again, that, that's that's too narrow for me. Yeah, I mean, these barely fit these little models. You can, see, you can see all the drag lines. They need to be, like, wider. I don't know. The um, The drawings, look, like the drawings kind of flare out a little bit. So again, that's easy enough to, to alter. You know, you just redraw the side seams, but I don't know if it's cute enough to go through all that trouble. I mean, it's also, you know, there's lots of patterns like that out there. But if you don't have one already, an elasticized skirt is, um, here, let's go back. An elasticized skirt is something really fun to have in your arsenal. Okay, there's one size that goes from extra, extra small to extra, extra large. And then I'm sure they're going to... Stretch knits only, active wear knits, double knits, sweat shirting, terry. Yeah, I mean, this is athleisure, so the same things you'd make a hoodie out of, basically. Here, they do include finished garment measurements for the hips, which is nice, on the outside of the envelope. So that's good. Yeah. So there you go. Not very many details, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, let's see what's next. We've got a pattern hack. Now remember, I've criticized these in the past for not being like creative enough with the hacking. Like making a shorter sleeve is not a pattern hack to me. Like basically this, this is not a hack. This is just what we do all the time. So it looks like they started incorporating the more basic stuff with in the base pattern and then they give you actually really nice options for the pattern hacking. So this one is a ruffle and a high-low hem top and then they give you an option for a crop top with like side seam ruching and then here's one that has like some elastic or they're calling it sheared um, sleeve and center front. Like, I think all four of these look very different, which is the whole point. So that's kind of cool. Here's the line drawings a little bit bigger. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know that I love the base pattern. You know, so, but if you like that style, if you like a dolman sleeve, you know, more of a shift dress type of thing, not very, you know, kind of shapeless. Um, no, that sounds negative. I don't mean, <laughs> I don't mean it negative. If you, if that's for you, then I think this is a really cute pattern with lots of options. But I would like to, again, see these either at the very least in an illustration, like how short is this and how high up does this go? You know, like, is that your belly button right there in the middle or what? Um, they're only showing us this little dress, which is kind of short. They're not going to show us the back, but um, yeah, that's a little on the short side, I think. And because her arm is like on her hip or because her hand is on her hip, you really can't tell much about what's going on here whenever your arm is relaxed, which is also kind of annoying. Okay, again, with the sizing is extra, extra small to extra, extra large. Uh, no details in the details section. The pattern back. Oh, this looks new. This is like a new format. It's not always like that for the pattern hack patterns, is it? Size for stretch knits only. Jersey power mesh. Okay. <laughs> stretch lace. Non-shirt or pull-up options also in double knit and fleece. I mean, like version two or one, I guess. Suitable for your serger. And then here are all the notions that you need. Interesting. Oh, and then it's also in French. Huh. Interesting. All right. Finished garment measurements include bust and then length, which is not helpful. Okay. Here's another pattern hack. We've got another elasticized waist skirt. See, I told you they weren't very rare. And the base pattern includes this little ruffle detail and then you can shorten it. A skirt without the ruffle, okay. A longer skirt. And then this scalloped edge skirt with elastic gathers. I mean, this is what I'm saying. This isn't nearly as creative as the last version. But look, it's that newly redesigned back. That's, that's interesting. Do you guys like that? I don't know. It seems weird and kind of hard to read with all the all caps. Chambray, cotton, eyelet, gauze, lightweight denim, linen types some variations designed for like border prints. All right, here are our line drawings again. I mean, again, I don't really love the skirt to begin with, so the hack options aren't that different. And then here she is. I don't know. I don't love it. <laughs> Again, with the extra, extra small to extra, extra large. All right. Let's move on to a swimsuit and caftan by Cynthia Rowley. Wow, okay. I usually love Cynthia Rowley. What is that? Is that just a very unfortunate shadow? What is happening? Okay, so, okay. We've got a color blocked swimsuit and then a little caftan dress, which is actually really adorable in this knee length version. Who would wear this over a bathing suit? Like inevitably you're at the beach or the pool or something, right? Why would you want like, hmm, this is odd. The styling is odd too, with high heels? I'm confused. Is it not meant to be worn over top the bathing suit? 
Fabrics are batik, chambray, cotton lawn, cotton types, double georgette, eyelet, and silky types. And then swimwear or knits. Okay. I mean, you would think since they're sold in the same pattern that they're meant to go together. Huh. And they're not going to show us the back view of the bathing suit either, which is also really annoying. But at least we have this illustration, sort of. The color blocking could be cute, but it could also, like, do you think that would make you look whiter? What is happening? I don't even understand why that's darker down there. I'm not zooming in. <laughs> Definitely not zooming in. Oh gosh, strange. Yeah, this is odd. And I don't like it in this fabric. The fabric's too, I don't know. It needs to be drapier, I guess. I don't know, I'm not happy. Sizes come in four to 12 and then 12 to 20. Your envelope back looks like, yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like this is easier to read than those pattern hack ones with the lines going across. Let's see. Yeah, not much more information on the back here than what we've already went over. Strange. And do we really want a center front seam on a bathing suit? You know what I'm saying? Strange. Very strange. All right, Mimi G. Show us what you've got, girl. Okay. A little matching two-piece set. Cute. I think I'm digging this. Hmm, I don't hate it, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, so we've got chambray, cotton, lightweight denim, linen types, and shirtings. But if you're making like a matchy matchy set, you don't want a shirting on your lower half. Especially not in this like slim, Silhouette. I would argue you didn't even want chambray. Also, silky types. No. B and D in lengthwise striped fabrics. What's B and D? Oh. I mean, that's not necessary. But I guess that's the only difference between A and B. Right? Those look the exact same to me. Hmm. Oh, and the back has these patch pockets. I don't love those either. Honestly, I really like this and the idea of like a matching set, but I don't like this skirt. That's what it is. Yeah, she used, I, I want to say that's either a denim or some kind of linen. Oh, but it's see-through, right? Can you see through that? The buttons are cute. I don't know. I don't know what I think about this, guys. Yeah, I think I would like it more if this were with a different kind of skirt. I mean, easy enough to do. I mean, you could even just redraw the side seams to make this one more A-line. But it's cute. It's cute. Let's see what else we've got here. Six to 14 and then 16 to 24. Those of you that have made Mimi G patterns, are you the same size in her patterns that you are in like regular simplicity patterns? Or does she draft for like curvier? Cause she's, you know, very curvy. All right. Includes design and wearing ease, but she's got bust and hip, which is so nice. So I would be, yeah, no, it's the same. It's the same. I don't hate it. I think that the little top is adorable with the little tie. 
but I would do, for me personally, I would do a different bottom just because it's not, this isn't that flattering on me. Okay, next. This is kind of promising. All right, dress, top, and pants. Y'all know I love a wardrobe because it's like the ultimate bang for the buck. You get all these patterns for the same price as like one terrible bathing suit and a cover-up. <laughs> okay, so we've got this squared neckline, this like bishop sleeve. I love that it hits like just below the elbow. And then a dress with like a wide hem gathering up here. And then it just looks really comfortable, right? And then you've got this little top, which I think is just a longer version of this with this really cute flutter sleeve with some trim detail. Here's the plain version. The pants are elasticized, kind of wide leg. And then this is like floor length and this is cropped. Look at all these pictures. Okay, here's the illustration. These are all cute. I love all of them. This, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I have these, you know. Okay. Sightseeing pockets in the pants. I missed that the first time. Okay, now we've got, here's the dress. Can we see some backs? The backs look just like the fronts. All right. I love the little trim, but I also love it plain. I wonder how difficult this is. That might be fun to learn. And then we've got our pants. Other pants. Okay, here's our girls. I think they're cute. What do you guys think? I like this one. Yeah, I love the little cropped trapeze top with the like higher waisted pant. I think that's really adorable. Hmm. Okay. Sizing comes in 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. And then batik, chalet, chambray, cotton lawn, eyelet, seersucker, poplin. Yeah. All of those, like, I don't know, light to mid-weight, light mid-weight uh, woven fabrics. Cute. Yeah, I would consider getting this one. Next up, we have another wardrobe. This one is knit pants, skirt, wrap dress, and wrap top. All right, some of the first, oh, we have two versions. I love that. Some of the first things that I look for in wrap tops is how low this comes on the body. You know, these girls are usually not very well endowed in the bust area, so they can have a deep V and not see any cleavage. So I'm not necessarily looking for cleavage. I'm looking for how low it comes in comparison to, like, as best I can tell where their bust apex is. And this peak is right in line. So it's not super low, but if you have a fuller chest, you will see cleavage. But yeah, it's just like a robe, an A-line skirted robe. And then you have this knit, this slim fitting knit uh, skirt with a slit. And then you have like basically yoga pants. What is happening here, guys? Okay. Yeah, just not really. I don't need anything like this in my life. You know, I don't find wrap things to be super comfortable. It's hard for me to get them to fit how I like. And this one just isn't stylish enough. Here's the top. Same thing. And then here's the skirt, which we actually don't have 
a picture of on a person. And then here's the pant. And then here are our girls. So yeah. And then it just comes in one size, extra, extra small to extra, extra large. Uh, stretch knits, jersey, stretch velvet, double knit, ponty. I can see it in a ponty for sure, especially those pants. Oh yeah, for the for the bottoms. And then finished hip measurements and bust measurements. See, I'm like a 36 in the bust, and I know that I'm not a size whatever size this is. Extra, extra small or extra small. So I'd make a medium, and then it would be like way too big. Hmm. All right. Uh, jacket, top, tunic, and pull-on pants. Okay. This is sadly looking familiar. We had something like this. I don't even remember whose collection or what, but it's like baggy on baggy, which again is a look, and some people can totally pull it off and be super, super chic with it. I am not that person. I just don't do really well with all baggy layers. But here's our line drawing. See, again, it's the same pant. Like we just saw that in another pattern, like give me something new here. And then we've got a shapeless tank top with side slits, a basic knit tee, and another robe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm just going to flip through these pictures and let you guys form your own opinions. I mean, it's okay, I guess. I just, you know, it. I know that that look is not flattering on me. So I have a hard time imagining myself in it. 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. These are all woven fabrics then. That's even more interesting. Cotton lawn, gauze, handkerchief, linen, wool, wash silk. You know, actually, those are all great suggestions. And then here's our finished garment measurements. So, yeah, a little just meh. A little meh. I don't need to see her, the pictures of her full length. It's just like, who's wearing that? I don't see anybody wearing that. All layered up like that. Hmm. Okay. Next up. Moving on. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Pull on skirts. Here we go. So they're like go days, these little like triangle insert things, and they have done like pattern blocking. It's like two different fabrics like this. That's just strange. I mean, I love a go day skirt. I really do. But a maxi one and contrasting fabric, I don't know. That's like... That's a tall order. These, ugh. I mean, if they were all matching like this, okay, sure. Cute, flirty, fun, but it's just like impossible to tell with this as your sample. Like, where is she going? Oh. I promise you guys that this little, like, little version of C is real cute. And this is probably cute too in, in like a lighter weight, non heavily patterned fabric. 
batik, chambray, cotton lawn, double georgette, gauze, lightweight linen, and silky types. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Fabric is going to make or break this little guy. Okay, 6 to 14, 14 to 22. The... Oh, look at all these measurements. They only give the finished hip measurement and not the finished waist measurement, but I guess it's elastic, so you can make it whatever you want. Look at all this fabric. Oh my god. Six yards you'd need for that maxi version. Jeez. Okay, so also not the most affordable. All right, oh Lord. All right, we've got pull on pants. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've got the same elasticized waist pant that we've seen three times already, except this time they decided to chop it off and add variations to the bottom which include this little top stitched thing this little like I, don't know, uh, <laughs> I can't even form the words um it's kind of like I don't know it looks cute on a sleeve maybe it would look cute on a pant and then you've got this version that is like sheared, sheared, and then this little like crossover tulip hem version. I don't even know. Okay. It reminds me of like the parachute pants. Remember like early 2000s? Like y'all remember parachute pants? This is a lovely picture that shows us virtually nothing of the pant. And then here's the long version with her like Birkenstocks. I mean, it's a look. It's a look. Yeah. It's comfy. You know, like I'd go to the drugstore when I was sick. It's like slightly elevated pajama pants. I mean, come on. This one even has elephants on it. I just don't even. Who wants that down by their feet and just constantly stepping on it, untying them? Let's see where they hit her. Well, I guess they're a little bit shorter than that. Well, these are because it gets pulled up, but these are not. These are right at your ankle. Hmm. Okay, so our 6 to 14, 14 to 22 size range. Yeah, let's see what they recommend for fabric. Batik? No. Chambray? Maybe. Cotton types, gauze, linen types. I mean, I guess. Why not just throw nylon in there? Hmm. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm too old, and I'm not that old. <laughs> if there's any, like, teenagers, anybody in their 20s who's watching this, let me know. Is this cool? Am I missing something? Oh, man. Okay, now here's a nice outfit. This is something I can get behind. Cute, right? Okay, so we have a top with like beautiful darting. So it's very fitted through here and then flares out at the hip, love that. And then you can either have this little sleeve or a big sash or this like ruffly thing. Ooh, look at this like harnessy looking one. That's fun. Maybe are those like pleats in the sleeve? Maybe. Let's see more. Oh, and then our lovely, these are even curved, curved fisheye darts. Very pretty. Oh, this thing is like a belt that starts on your shoulder. That's what this is. How interesting. I don't know what to think. What do you guys think? Why didn't they make that version? Why did they make like the most basic version of all the versions? So annoying. But look, a back view. Center back, invisible zip. 
pretty. You don't get the pants, it's just the top. Okay. I'm sure the pants are a different pattern. I love this top. I love this top. I like this little one too. Cute. I gotta, I gotta see this though. Who wants to be the guinea pig to make that first? I guess you could always put them on and then take them off. <laughs> That's just bizarre. And then here's the one with the sleeve. Cute. Sizes are four to 12 and then 14 to 22. Here's our back. Chambray, cotton lawn, cotton types, gingham. Yeah, all the usual suspects. You can even put like um, a seersucker, any of that in there. Yeah, I really like this one and I am so intrigued. So intrigued. But that's what I feel like sewing patterns should be now. They should have some basic options, but then they should have something that really makes you, it, it gives you the option to be like super stylish or super trendy or super just different, you know? All right, cute, 8921 going on the list. All right, now we've got a top with like a little drop shoulder and sleeve options. Let's get into it. Option one is like a split sleeve with a little tie. That's cute, but that stuff always gets in your food, right? The little dangly things. It looks like a, I don't know if that's a facing, a sewn in facing. Here's this illustration. This sleeve has the same little ruffle detail as the last top. Um, here's the one that the lady is wearing. And then here's a plain top. I don't know, what do, do you guys like these little drop shoulders? I, I can't tell, I think I do. I think I don't mind them. Here she is sitting there for her school portrait. <laughs> I can hear you guys laughing. Okay, chambray, cotton types, gauze, linen types, shirtings. Yeah. Usual suspects. These are not darts. These are just folds of the fabric illustrated. Yeah, loose fitting, comfy. I like the length of it. I do feel like they, they got that right. But then again, she's probably tall, so... Obviously, you'd still need to double check it, but. All right, six to 14, then 16 to 24. Uh, we went through all of that. All right. This is like a maybe, like if it's on sale kind of thing. All right, look at this one. And this is knit tops, okay. Cute. Okay, there's some cute versions here. We've got this off the shoulder one. Then, or is this? This could just be A with the thing pulled down, which is kind of cheating. Then we have a elbow length version, a short sleeve version, one with like a elasticized band on the sleeve and then this little flutter sleeve one, which is my favorite. But I do like the wide neck. Are they gonna, does this show? Yeah, it is. So they're trying to show that it's either or. You can either put it up or pull it down off your shoulder, which is just strange. But it's cute for a little t-shirt, you know, like it's an elevated t-shirt. And these are kind of all the same in different fabrics. That one's so cute. And you can see they illustrated it in a sweater knit. And then here's the same picture as the cover. 
and then here she is again. Yeah, another one that's kind of like, it's okay. Um, it comes in the extra extra small to extra extra large size range. And bamboo knit, jersey, modal, novelty, rib knit. Yeah, I mean, basically any, any lightweight knit. Like, uh, you wouldn't want to do like cable knit or ponty or anything like that. But any of those like lightweight, whatever you'd see in a normal, like knit top. Okay, now we have this top. Mm, I don't love an elasticized top, but this sleeve stuff is everywhere right now. So I can see why they, I can see what they're going for is my point. So we've got the same, basically the same kind of sleeve as the last pattern, but instead of a square neck, we've got a V, and then they've added a little bit of elastic, and then you've got your split hem sleeve, you've got this little sleeve, which I do really want to make. I like this version, although I don't find it to be super comfortable. But, and then you've got this version here, which is like an elasticized sleeve. So they all are in drawing, line drawings. Yeah, this is, this will be really cute. Here they are again. Oh, and a crop top. I missed that. But again, you can always add a skirt to the bottom of this, or you know, obviously, or lengthen these to be a dress if you're not into crop tops. Yeah, cute. I don't know why they did them all in all these little itty bitty florals. Like that looks like bed sheets. It could be a little bit more modern in terms of the fabric choice, but. 4 to 12 and then 14 to 22 is our size. Um, and then fabrics, calico, chambray, cotton types, gingham, lightweight linen, poplin, shirtings, wall. Yeah, I would go more the wall slash rayon slash. Yeah, I'd go more that direction than anything else that they've mentioned here. Super lightweight. All right. Now we have this very interesting jacket and vest. Okay. I promise you someone her age is not wearing this. Just saying. I don't even know what to say. I mean, it's kind of cool. Uh, it's basically like a drop shoulder robe with a little tab. Here it is. I guess that's waist length and hip length and then a little bit longer than hip length. And then you've got this like dress. Oh my word. Look at this. They did not. Is that the same outfit she had on with those pants earlier? No. Just no. I mean, maybe she's going to the farmer's market. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. It's, it's, I don't like the sample. Maybe some of these other ones will end up being cute, but... I don't know. It's just strange. I mean, this could be like a lot of fun for like gardening and stuff, but is that closed or is that open? Like you have to wear that over pants? I don't know, guys. Ugh. Ugh, I'm thinking no. 
extra small through extra large, I think is it, yeah. Um, then we've got batik, cotton lawn, cotton types, double knit, really? Gauze, linen type, ponty, no, silky type. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, there it is. Hmm. I want to like it. Like, I think it could be cool, but I just can't visualize. I'm having a hard time visualizing. All right, here's the Cynthia Rowley that I'm used to. <laughs> Cute, flirty, fun dresses. Okay. Wow, this one fits terribly. Yikes. This seam is supposed to be like under her boob. And then look at all this. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, what, what, are, what am I even looking at here? <laughs> Oops. Okay. I think it could be cute. I, I can't tell if she's just really full busted or if it's drafted for a very small bust. All right. So we've got a v-neck uh like um empire waist with like a like a waistband and then a full circle skirt i think and then this little tie thing and this is the same it's just longer with a slit and i actually love that and then on the back oh how interesting so the the tie is sewn into the center back seam on one side and then the other side it's sewn into the side seam is that what's happening that's kind of cool i like that it covers the zipper huh but they're not going to give us a back illustration because that would be that would make too much sense yeah, I obviously would want to muslin this because this makes me nervous. The, all this like bad fit here. Either they drafted it for or they sewed it for one model and then she didn't show up and this girl showed up in her place and her measurements were different or I don't know. But this 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 does not fit her. And so I would want to triple check that. But you'd really only have to sew this top portion i mean maybe you can attach the waistband if you want but you can tell if this is going to fit over your bust or not but i like it and i like the idea of that that tie thing could be so cool it is really short let's see what this says same lightweight woven types Um, yeah, I wish they would have included like walls and, you know, rayon types and all of that for, um, this longer version. I think that the, all these cottony ones are great. Oh, well, here's a chalet, I guess. Um, these cottony ones are great for the short version because it flares out a lot, but this one you kind of want to fall closer to the body. All right. 4 to 12, 12 to 20. And then I think we've seen everything on this already. Oh, it looks like the bodice is lined. Or maybe not. Because B doesn't have a line. Oh, A, B lining. Yeah, okay. And then they give you finished bust measurements. So this would put me at a, tw yeah, that's what I am. Yeah, so I would just want to make sure that that front was drafted correctly. And that it's just long, basically it just needs to be long enough. It might be that the shoulders are too shallow. I don't know, the scoop is nice here though. I don't know, You'd, I'd have to look at it. But I would consider getting this one for sure. Just would require myself to make a muslin, like force myself to make a muslin. All right. Oh, cute. I mean, my inner self really wants to wear this, but I never would. 
I, I am all for her body positivity. I'm just not there yet. Maybe one day. I mean, she looks banging. <laughs> but I don't know about that for myself. Um, oh, here's that. Another version of the little... Oh, look at that. The, another, like, a uh, redraft of the back. Active wear knits, jersey, spandex, stretch velvet, two-way stretch. Yeah, I mean, stretch velvet for the holidays? Yeah, you could totally wear this to a holiday party. Um... Yeah, you can't tell as much that it's ruched on her, but dang, girl. Does it have a train? Yeah, it has a little itty bitty train. And then you got this. Look at the back. Boom. It's a little twisted, though. And this is twisted. <laughs> I hate, I do the same thing. I take pictures and, or someone takes pictures of me and I'm like, how did you not notice that that was twisted on my McCall's jumpsuit so along on those videos, the back neck little thing. It's like a halter and only one of the hooks is hooked. It's so annoying to me every time I watch that video. All right. Booming and popping over here on Mimi G. Okay. Well, there you go. Not for me, but I think it is pretty. This is really cool. I wonder if I could sew this onto something else, onto a different skirt. Probably not. I mean, I could, but I don't know if I would want to go through all that trouble. All right, we've got 10 to, 10 to 18. Wow, so four, six, and eight don't even aren't even included. Maybe because it's knits? I don't know. And then you have your 20 to 28. Size for stretch knits only. Yeah, we already went through that. We've already seen this. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, maybe one day. All right, now we've got, this looks cute. This looks very cute. All right, so we have like a little asymmetrical, like bodicey thing with buttons that I'm sure don't work, but maybe we'll find out more sooner. And then you have a little knee length version with cute little patch pockets. You have a maxi version with a little belt. You have little sleeves. You have, this is a just sleeveless version of this and no pockets. This is a version of this with no pockets. And then this is what she's wearing. So not a ton of variations, but I like this little I like too. also they have vertical stripes and then they ran the stripes horizontally here. That's fun. I love playing with stripes. We'll get back to that in a minute. Um, okay, yeah, so here's all of our line drawings. And then you have a back yoke. So it's kind of like a, it's like a funky take on a shirt dress, a collarless shirt dress. How can we tell if the buttons work? I mean, I'm not getting a, the vibe that this is a placket, are you? I mean, maybe too hard to tell. Let's see what the, I mean, it's not saying you need a zipper. So yeah, they do work. That's how you get into it. That's cool. I think that's really cool and a lot of fun. Um, chambray, cotton types, gingham, lightweight denim, linen types, shirtings. Yes. Yes. To all of that. Fun. Even lightweight sateens and, mmm, I really like this one. And if you did um, like covered buttons too in the, in the same self fabric, that would be cool. Or, you know, contrast buttons. This one has little white ones. Cute. I like this. I like this. 
Okay, sizes 4 to 12 and then 14 to 22. Um, let's look at the back just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Fun, you know, the, um, so my style cue for May is shirt dress. So this would be a fun take on that. Oh, and it's got little pockets. If you don't do the patch pockets, you can add side seam pockets. Cool. Very cool. I like that one, 8914, going on the list. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, I feel like we're, we're hitting our stride here in the end. It was a little dull there in the, in the middle, but I'm feeling re-energized. It's like a cute caftan kind of thing. Look at this. And then I love the center front slit, like love. You've got bust darting here. We'll check the back and see if there's any back darting. But as I've shown you guys, that's fairly easy enough to add on your own. Then you have this version which has slits on the side, which honestly looks a little bit more like pajamas than this. This I like a lot more. And then you've got this version, which has sleeves with tabs and a pocket and drawstring or like a, a waist, maybe belt. And then you've got a knee length version, also cute. Fun. Okay, so no shaping in the back, but again, easy enough to add, I guess. Annoying that you have to, but. So yeah, this one comes with little carriers and then you put a little belt through. I love this version. I wonder if this is applique. Um, let's see. So here's your fabric, chambray, cotton types, gauze, lightweight denim, linen types, shirtings, lightweight twill. Um, maybe for the, the one with the sleeves. And then two buttons, single white, oh, only bias tape. Hmm. And then... Oh, here it is. Embroidered or Venice lace trim to cut apart. Interesting. So basically they bought like yardage of lace and then cut out the individual flowers and applique those to the top. Cute. I love this. I love the way it's styled. I feel like everything is just like on point. And you can tell she thinks it's cute too. She's like, thank God y'all didn't put me in those parachute pants. <laughs> uh, are those side seam pockets though? That's kind of weird. Let's see. Yeah, I'd leave those off. You know, I don't love a pocket that just flops around inside. But I would make this, I would make this, and I would make this. This, I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe in the to a top, you know, but not a maxi dress. Maybe into a knee length, but not a maxi dress. It's just too, too caftan-y. All right. And that is 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. Cool. Very cool. Hmm. 8912. Going on the list. All right, well, here's an actual caftan or something that they're calling caftan. I don't really know the difference. Whatever this, well, I don't know the difference. Do you guys? Um, oh, God. Okay, well, I'm sure I know that they're trendy and they're making a comeback, and I can appreciate that, but. I'm not wearing this. <laughs> Maybe this version, because this version is the same as the one she's wearing. It's just got no sleeves. So that's a little bit better. Oh my God, I have this fabric that they made this sample, this illustration of. Did y'all know that? That they use actual fabrics and they scale them down to the size of the illustration so you can get an idea of scale. Yep, saw it in person when I toured um, McCall's and Simplicity. The last couple times I've been to New York, I've got to go to their offices. Anyway, sidetracked. Um, okay, so now you have this like slit version, slit sleeve version. 
So this is the same as this, just no draping. I don't get it. Oh my, okay. This explains it a little bit better. Look at that, isn't it a funky looking illustration? So yeah, you can either do it with the little draping or without. The draping's cool. I wish it looked like this on her, but it doesn't. It looks like saddlebags. Huh, I don't know, guys. I think it's just not for me. But I'm sure it's very comfortable. So that's enticing. Okay. Yeah, stretch knits only, bamboo, ITY, jersey, modal. Yeah, all that for sure. For sure. Um, yeah, very oversized. I'm not even sure that the finished garment measurements really matter all that much. But I would also size down. This thing looks huge. All right. Yeah, you've got your one size, extra small, extra, extra small, sorry, to extra, extra large. And then, yeah, we've seen all this already. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's a lot with the sleeves. Hmm. All right. Now we're on to the next page. God, they've got a lot of patterns. Still rocking and rolling here. Um, okay. So we've got a little v-neck dress. This is kind of low and wide with almost like a shaped, like this feels like it's close to her body and then flares out. That's interesting. I'm not sure if it's meant to do that or if that's just what's happening, but you've got a little like curved waist seam. Well, it's actually a little bit higher than the waist. It's like an empire waist. Some darting here and pleats, lots and lots of pleats. And then our variations are sleeveless and maxi, short sleeve and midi. And this is the one she's wearing. Oh, and this cute one with the ties. Oh, I'm a sucker for those little details. Oh, and big deep pockets. That's kind of cool. I like this one, guys. Let's see what that sleeve looks. Yeah, see how it's like narrow even through here and then it billows out a little bit mm. and then the cutie cutie version that would be fun in uh, like a cotton knit um like after the pool they made this like a no linen i think it's cute Chalet, chambray, cotton lawn, linen types, lightweight poplin, silky types. But like I said, I also think, oh my God, look at the back. How did we miss that? Look at that. Interesting. So the, so the um, empire waist goes up and down and scoops down your back and then back up again. This is, I'm going to have to make this one. I bet it takes a gajillion yards of fabric. Yeah, almost four. Although, without the sleeves, it's like, well, still almost three. I hardly ever buy three yards of fabric, so have to go shopping. Just kidding. The back is cool, right? Oh, I wish they showed us pictures. That's so unfair. <sighs> anyway, there's a lot of really cool details about this one. I love the, you know, deep pocket. I love this seam and what it does in the back and all the different options up top. This is fun. Okay, but I was saying I would add to this list like cotton knits. Like not super stretchy like jersey, but like sort of more stable. All right. Cool. 
I like that one too, 8910. I thought I had like five on my list. That's pretty good. I feel like this is a love or hate collection. I'm either like absolutely yes or hardcore no. Okay. So what do we have here? We have a raglan sleeve with a bell shift dress or this little sleeve, which is actually kind of cool with the little ties, this little like scoopy hem one. And then the one she's wearing with this asymmetrical hem, that's pretty. And then a keyhole back opening, center back uh, seam. Okay. Um, here's the same illustrations, just larger. Oh, I like that. That's cute. I like that sleeve too. A little sporty, I guess. Yeah, I mean, what do we think? I think it's cute. Batik, chalet, crepe, double Georgette, lightweight linen. Yeah. The sizes are 6 to 14, 16 to 24. Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't freak out over shift dresses, but I'm warming up to them after my little experiment that I did where I added the fish darts and then didn't add the fish darts, a lot of you were like, it doesn't look that bad. So that gave me a lot of confidence. Okay, now we've got a legit shirt dress with color blocking. That's interesting. She hates it. Look at her face. She's like, what is this? Okay, so basically it is a shirt dress shift with or without a belt. Look how cute that one is. Um, and different sleeve options. And I think this is a one piece collar too, where it doesn't have a collar stand. So they're much easier to sew simpler um, than a traditional collar but it also has this drop shoulder thing happening. So you're getting kind of like a boyfriend shirt, like a slouchy, baggy type thing. What do you guys think? These look too much like nightgowns. Is this a nightgown? <laughs> is this a nightgown? It kind of is. It kind of is. Yeah, solid doesn't help. This is just too weird. That certainly doesn't help. I mean, that one's all right. I think it could be cute. 8908. I would buy this one on sale. <laughs> 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. And when I say that, I mean like when they're $1.99, not like when they're on sale here on the website. Chambray, cotton types, linen types, sear sucker shirtings. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let's see. All right, this is the last one. Oh, and we are going out with a bang. All right, jumpsuit, romper, dress, and belt. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, uh, I've seen these. Like, I've seen people wearing these, and they look super cute. And I don't know why this one does not look cute. Maybe because they made it out of linen. Also, why are they rolling up her cuffs? It's not rolled up here. Uh, 
uh, I, I think that something about the bodice is just not reading right to me. And then you have this little romper version with a patch pocket and the shorter sleeve. Then here's your dress version and here's your, um, like, this is like a knee length version, I guess. Hard to, oh, look, they put it in two different people. That hardly ever happens. Yeah, I think they could probably tell something was up with the bodice, which is why they unbuttoned her and have her sitting. Um, I think the fabric isn't drapey enough. This, this whatever's happening here is odd. But in a drapier fabric, I think it could be really cute. Batik, chalet, chambray. Yeah, it's like a delicate balance between drapey enough for the bodice, but not so lightweight that it like clings to your bottom half. Yeah, rayon poplin would be a good choice or crepes would be a good choice. Yeah, this one's a little bit tough. But I have seen them and I have seen them look really cute. So. Yep. All right. Sizing comes in six to 14 and then 14 to 22. And then our envelope back is what we've already seen basically. You know, maybe you could also take some of the blousing out of this, like make this shorter, make the bodice shorter. There's some ways you can play around with it. So it's not, I don't know, just that's just odd looking, right? Um, it, this is also odd looking like it just needs to be like maybe a wider leg and hit the floor. I don't know what's happening here. Something must have been off that day because it wasn't intended to be cuffed. I don't know. Anyways, I think that that is it. Yep. This takes us into the new look patterns that we've already covered. Um, so I mean, what do you guys think? It's like a little bit hit or miss on this one. I feel like there were some that I love, love, loved. And then there were some that I was just like, no, that's never happening. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Are you going to be picking any of these up? I loved this one, 8926. Um, which ones are you going to grab? 8921 also on the list. Yeah, I think like five or six of them I really liked. And the ones I really, really liked um, were tops too, which is great because I'm always looking for woven tops because I have a lot of dresses, but not a lot of tops. So that's nice to add. But anyways, let me know what you guys think and I will see you all very soon. Bye.